difference between poor people, rich people, and middle class people is not how much money they make. And it's not even how much money they have. The difference between rich people, middle class people, and poor people is what they believe the purpose of money is. Poor people believe the purpose of money is to pay bills. That's the primary purpose of money in the mind of a poor person, pay bills. So the only reason they go to work every day is so they can get some money on Friday and hand it over to somebody else. Middle class people think the primary purpose of money is to establish good credit so they can buy things they can't afford and pay it off over time. Rich people understand that the primary purpose of money is to turn it into more money. So I'm gonna take the money that I make, turn it into more money than I had, and then and only then can I be wealthy. I can only be wealthy if I hold on to my money long enough for it to get pregnant and have some babies. I wanna take every $100 bill I get and put it in the money maternity ward. That's the mindset that is necessary to develop the skill set of investing. Are y'all tracking? Hey guys, welcome back to Pass Money Plan. My name is Alex. Uh, that's Kirby over there. Kirby, what do you think about this video? I have a lot to say. Let's get right into it. I'm going to say, boom, he hit the nail right on the head. Uh, that's everything that we talk about. And uh, I'm glad somebody else said it so we don't sound like crazy people on the internet. Uh, but before we dive into it, uh, one thing I'll ask everybody to do, do us a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we plan on giving good content out, especially with, you know, talks of a recession and stuff like that. You know, I've, you know, survived the recession and made it out on the other end. Alex, you know, cheapest guy on earth. He probably has never seen a recession in his life. <laughs> but but we, the channel was out here to educate people and to give people a better understanding how finances work and make sure we turn out, have a better today than we are yesterday. So please like, subscribe, support the channel, and we're going to continue to pump out content for you guys to make your financial futures better. But now going to this video. This video is, like I said, he hit the nail on the head. Um, and the crazy part is I've been in every stage that he talked about, uh, when I was in the military, super poor, you know, of course, cell phone, you know, you, you gotta have, you gotta have a, a soldier starter kit, you know, gotta have a cell phone, gotta have a car, you know, gotta have some jewelry clothes. And you know, of course you probably put it all on credit cards anyway, but we just work to pay those bills, you know, car insurance, car payment cell phone, I was living in the barracks, and then you had a little bit left over to grab the booze on the weekend. And then, but that's all the work was. And then when when I was poor, that's what it was. Money to pay bills, money to pay bills. Then when I started, you know, moving up in rank and then started making more money, I did exactly that. Uh, I still, you know, pay the bills, but then go out on a credit card and then buy more stuff that I couldn't afford uh, to make sure make it look like, because I'm moving up in rank in the military, like I uh, lived the life of somebody of that rank. Right. And then, of course, once I have money, the only thing, and you know, you hear me talk about, especially when we first met up, the first thing I, I was like, I got kids in the street. I got kids in the streets and I'm trying to collect them all. It's the only thing that I focus on now is making my money make more money. Making my money make more money. Um, and that's that's really the goal. It's the money. I only look at money to make more. I don't look at money to say, oh, what can I buy? You know, oh, I want to buy this car. Oh, I want to buy this piece of jewelry. I want to buy this and that. It's that's not even that's not even in my mind's eye. It's all about, oh, I got this money. Oh, now let's go make more money. And then with the more money it makes, then I'll buy something. But I will not work for money to buy anything. But with that being said, Alex, what you got? Yeah, um, I mean, I kind of grew up with uh, being taught that first statement where money is made so you can pay your bills. And that's kind of like the family setting or um, just from peers and stuff. That's kind of how I grew up. Like, that's why you make money. It's to pay for your bills so you can live, basically. And then maybe save some money so you have like a rainy day fund and then uh, save other money if you want to go on a trip or something. But one thing ironic in life that he mentioned that I that I noticed, um, and he may not have really meant to mention this, but is when he gets to that third one where rich people, they make money so that they can make even more money. They invest that money to make more. Is now that I'm doing that, in my life 
or since I've been doing that in my life, the people closest to me in my life from like that I grew up with, whether it be family or friends, tell me that I'm cheap for doing that, that I'm cheap because I'm not spending it on stuff that I'm using it to make more. I'm either greedy or I'm cheap. And it's like, it's, it's just ironic how it works. Like the one side doesn't understand the other. Yeah, and and it's and I blame that on two things. I mean, of course, the people close to you and the people close to me also, they don't have the financial literacy, but it's I blame it on social media. I blame it on social media. And people sit there and veg out on social media and follow celebrities, and then they see celebrities, you know, buying the Lamborghini trucks and all this stuff, going on these exotic vacations. So they're thinking, oh, as soon as you get money, that's what you're supposed to do. But they net, but these same people in the same breath, if you lost the money or when celebrities lose the money and they file bankruptcy, oh man, they had all that money and they lost it. It's because doing all the stuff that you think that people with money should do. The people that don't lose it is the people that's being disciplined and responsible with money. They using the money to go make more money. So the money that they organically work for, they're never losing that. And then that money is out making more money. Now, if you go splurge and and do whatever you want to after you didn't make that money flip or as in the video said, create babies, then you'll never go broke. But if you if you're working, spending 40 hours a week and taking that money to take care of your lifestyle, the secret is you got to work another 40 hours to replicate that again. But if you have if you take that money and have it create the same money you're making every 40 hours you still have the nut that you started with. And then you just have it keep generating that money again. You can go live that lifestyle that you think that all the rich people live, but you still have your nut there and it's going to continuously generate money over and over and over again. It's a weird thing. Like I hear a lot of people, especially um, that, like, I mean, and we've talked about this in other videos, but their their mindset on, uh, like, let's say the first two points he makes, you know, the, the poor people in the middle class, their idea of having money is like, I, and I hear this in like households where they're like, you know, what do we have? Like, if someone's just talking about, you know, their money situation, they'll talk about like, just new appliances that they're buying. They're like, now we finally have something to show for like, but it's like, how does a fridge show that you have money or like, but that's their mindset is like you make all this money to buy nicer things uh, in your house or a nicer car. And that's the way that you show you have money or that something to show for. But in reality, if you're not using your money to make more, then, you know, you're never going to actually be, I would say ahead in life. I mean, you'll just be in the same, like, like they say, the rat race, you'll just be in the same little maze, basically. No, yeah, I agree with you totally. Well, guys, with all that being said, um, if you have any comments, let us know down below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we will see you guys in the next video.